For some reason my camera likes to shut down the first time I start it up. So we turned it back on here. So we're just going to put the stirring hot plate away. And I'm going to move this back into the other hood. put that sand bath back. 45 degrees isn't that hot, so perfectly easy to handle. Condenser just has a little ethylastate on it. No reason to clean it. So you notice it's settled out, maybe a faint little bit of yellow, not very much. Nice lot of fine white solid. We're going to want to take that stir bar out of there, for starters. I'm going to set that aside inside this other dirty flask so I don't lose it down the sink. Just give that a quick wipe. So what we want to do now is vacuum filter this. So we'll use a 50 milliliter filter flask, which fits the number two adapter, and a clean looking Hirsch funnel, piece of filter paper. hose. That's the long one. We're going to want to wet this down with a little bit of, of ethylastate. So I'm going to need a pipette and a bottle of ethylastate. If I was really concerned with yield, I'd ice it to minimize the solubility of the product. We know it's somewhat soluble because we were following that reaction. And I would cool some ethyl acetate so I could wash the filter cake with cold ethyl acetate. But in this case, I'm really more after uh, de confirming the identity of the product by NMR. So I'm not going to worry about the fact that I'm going to lose a little bit in the filtration by washing it with... Uh, room temperature ethyl acetate. I'm going to wait for that to cool though. Actually, maybe I will ice that in an ice bath. Why not? Three jawed clamps aren't ideal for this flask, but I just want to get it stable enough that it's not going to fall out of there. 
So we'll let that cool a little bit. And I guess while we're waiting for that to cool, there's no good reason not to cool a little bit of ethyl acetate as well. That'll maximize our yield by not dissolving up extra compound. So won't be needing this anymore. So we'll just let that cool. Won't take very long. Let the ethyl acetate evaporate. Since the NMR is down right now, we won't actually be collecting NMR data for a while. So we'll just let this stuff dry. So we calculate a yield. So while we're waiting, I'm going to tear a 10 milliliter beaker with a label on it. Like the box of labels is empty. So I'll have to see if I can find another one. Recycle that later. L-10-56-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-